Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Jacksepticeye video and it's a, another scary games related video from Jack. Now this one, I was tempted and I was kind of hesitant on reacting to this one because to me it didn't look like that there was anything crazy in particular to look out for in that video is besides the thumbnail you know that little faint turtle in the thumbnail of that video of antiseptigai faintly in there and it's just a still frame from his appearance from PAX East 2017 when he goes keeping eye on things that moment but um again i don't know what he means by don't trust this game i might as well find out so without further ado let's react to this video shall we good evening and top of the morning to you laddies i am jacksepticeye i have scary games you want scary games right you want them maybe deep down dark in your soul all you have to do is repeat after me. Put your right hand in the air and say, I. I. Video game watcher of the video Jackson game watcher. Variety Channel. Promise to not get scared this video. Let's do it. <laughs> this one's called Don't Trust. Um, so I don't know if it's telling me not to trust the game or not to trust me. What trust is this, a simulacra? In the game. Don't trust the game. Okay. I will not trust a single thing that this game says. After finishing a task, finish remember to return into a starting point in order to receive the next quest. Good luck. Good luck. Eat a cookie. Eat a cookie located in the kitchen. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, I saw the Iron Man poster. Okay. Man, this Love you, 3000. What's up? Life begins, begins with coffee. After coffee. Or after oh, coffee. Don't I know it. Dick. <laughs> ah, a cup of the good old dirty beans. <laughs> I had coffee this morning and everyone was looking at me weird out the window. I have no idea why. Got you all your classics, your Iron Man, your, your Spider Man, and, and Captain America. And America Captains. America yeah, Captains. I'm more of a man spider myself, but to each their own. What's going on in this house? The is human spider. Me? Is this a spook? Okay, give me the oh, phone away. Sucks. Is it a phone or a walkie talkie? I don't know. It's like a phone. Whoa, whoa. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> closed through me. Alright, no time to be getting scared just yet. Stick the phone to your face and you'll be fine. You <laughs> can't get scared if you can't see anything. Why is there a knife? <laughs> That's probably Auntie's favorite thing. Knife? Okay, clo close that. Let me see what you have. A knife! No! Oh. oh. Ding ding. Can I? God damn it. Okay, eat the cookie. Nom nom nom. I'm gonna take the knife with me. It's easier to defend myself like this. Of I can't see where I'm going. I just have a knife out in front of me, and if I walk into you and it stabs you, then that's really your fault. Okay. Oh, damn it. Uh, damn it! Congratulations! You receive 100 points of experience. Put toys into the toy box. Okay. Who is talking to me? Wait. We're... Oh, is that it? Without completing your tasks, you will not level up. Turn on the TV. I don't know what's happening. Back away! Jesus, please, help me. Um, where is the TV? Okay, the knife down here. There you go. That's for you, and I'll sit here. This is cozy. This is comfy. Nice. You are very obedient. It's because I have a knife. Every player need a good weapon. Put a kitchen knife into the toy box. Ooh! I knew it. I was destined for this. Is this the toy box? Uh, okay. Pathetic. I did not expect from you to be such a noob. How There's dare a toy you? box in the kitchen. Call me a noob. My dad was a noob. And he fought for this country. <laughs> it is so quiet in here. Music perfectly intensifies the experience. Turn on the radio. Okay, is the radio in here or in a different room? I see no radio. So far, I Yeah, there was a toy box right there, right next to the yeah, fridge. I trust you. What's going on out there? I live in the fucking Himalayas. Or the desert. One or the other. Reality is often disappointing. 
<laughs> is that Thanos? Is that Thanos? But this does put a smile on my face. Okay. Radio's on. This really does intensify the situation. You're right. Oh shit, my phone battery's dying. There is no turning back. There is no turning back. Um. Oh shit. What? We got static windows now. Okay. White noise abound. From, oh, from Mama. Where are you? I'm really worried. People say that a boy carrying a toy box was seen near the river. Please answer me. Mama! Mama, no, it's just not me! It's the demon! Toy, progress! I think I broke it right at 69. Yes. Is it seriously broken? Oh, God, I restarted it. Oh, now I'll do it right, because this is the toy box here. Put toys in toy box. Yeah, Good. dingus. Congratulations, you leveled up. Hell yeah. Turn on the TV. You gotcha. Also, I keep the same experience from last time, or the same battery percentage from last time. All right, now you want me to put a knife in the thing, right? Okay. You got it. Come on, knifey. Our journey begins. It is a good place for this knife. Don't forget about it. All right, music time. Oh, we get to hear Thanos again. Reality is often disappointing. <laughs> Reality is all disappointing. Excellent. Reality can okay, be Okay, there's no turning back. All right, here we go again. Maybe this time, oh, my toy box is gone. Okay, can I go it this way this time? Nice. All right, do not worry, Mama. Is it frozen again? I don't know what's supposed to happen after this. Wait, that might actually be the end of the game. Because it's called Do Not Trust the Game. So maybe if I don't trust it, and maybe if I do everything contradictory, or fail some other tasks, I don't know. Eat a cookie in the kitchen. Well, I can't not do that. I have to progress it somehow. Is there something else I can eat? Eat fruits. Eat a cactus. Eat a plant. Fuck, I ate the cookie. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I leveled up. Put toys in the toy box. No. I don't want to. I'm being a disobedient child. How do you like that? Without completing your tasks, you will not level up. Turn on the TV. No! Oh, my toy box is gone. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out how I can progress this stuff without actually doing any of the tasks. Oh, my toy box is here. I'm going to put the knife somewhere else later. Turning off the TV. Ignorance is always undesirable. Every player needs a good weapon. Put the knife in the box. Nope. I'ma take the knife and shove it up your butt. I'm bringing it back here. Pathetic. Did not expect you to be such a noob. So quiet. Perfectly intense place. Turn on the radio. Okay. So if I turn off the radio... Is that good? Don't you turn on anyway! No, shut up! I don't want music! It's late. You better go back to bed before I get back. I hope you were having fun when I was out. Love you, Mom. So it is different. Aww. So the <laughs> outcome is different when you don't do the objectives. Oh, man! so much more from this. I thought something with this kind of title would get like really creepy really quickly. Who was talking to me? Why were they talking to me? And how were they talking to me? I like the idea behind this. I really wanted it to get really scary because I like that. I like it throwing it on its head. Almost kind of like a Stanley Parable sort of thing where you're going along normally and then everything takes a left turn. Or I could have some choice in it. It, was, it seems like it was either all or nothing. 
I don't know. Ah, shit all in my eyes. Have it get scary. Have it get spooky. Have the game suddenly turn on me. That shit is interesting. This has some good ideas, though. I just wish it was more. Oh, but dear viewer, we are not done just yet. The spooks and the scares... Obviously not. ...continue about. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, boy. Hello? Hello? Yes, they're right here. It's for you. It's someone telling me that there's... More spooky. This game is called the movie. Oh, you didn't get me, that's for sure. And it reminds me of that movie, was... The Autopsy of Someone. Hi, Valerie, it's Raymond. I know it's late, and I'm really sorry, but I have a huge favor to ask you. All right, everybody loves Raymond. I had a late pickup over at Sacred Waters, and I just started the embalming maybe 20 minutes ago, but I have a family emergency I need to leave the office for. Would you be able to come in and finish it up? Uh, sure. I mean, sure. <laughs> But I haven't done one alone yet. Are you sure that'd be okay? You've been doing a great job, and I'll leave a checklist for you just in case. I took care of some of the prep work already. Really appreciate it. I have to do an autopsy on my own? I don't want to do that. Great, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. What is the name of that movie? The autopsy of Vicar Amelia. Jane Doe. The autopsy of Jane Doe. Duh! Duh. <laughs> you should watch it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Ah, darkness. I really should not have done that because I couldn't see what the switch was again. Ah, brightness. All right, I've already checked vitals, bathed the body, and set the face. I wish someone would set my face. You know what you're doing by now, but just in case, here's a list. Wear a coat and gloves. Ah, damn it, am I naked again? I didn't bring the tools out yet, so bring two bits of scalpel and trocars to the side table. Okay. Uh, none of that stuff is here. So I'm gonna just head in. Okay. This is not gonna go well for me. I can already tell. Okay. I got my little gloveys on. Um, oh, I need my jacket. Maybe I should close the door as well. There we go. Now it's just you and me. And we have a beautiful date night ahead of us. Oh, boy. I'm going to turn on some music. Um, okay, what do I need? We're a couple of I didn't bring the tools yet, so bring tubing syringes. Oh, they're all laid out right here. Okay, take that. Put this on the table. I heard a knocking. <laughs> Don't come a knocking when the autopsy rooms are rocking. Are you smiling? Now? She's smiling. I see her smiling. She's smirking that fucking bitch. Now she's they not. They weren't smiling before, were they? Nope. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> I that's, swear that that's angle. A big no no. Just based on that angle right here. Oh, I hate this. I it looks like she is. Oh, God. Slit your Slit throat. Slit your throat? Oh, Auntie, is that you? No, thank you. <laughs> I would rather not. I'm going to take a two. two. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay. Oh, like Can I leave? Close that door, dude. Creepy lady tell me to slit my throat. All right, no, no, stick with it. Stay in it. Create the embalming mixture in the machine. Formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde, ethanol, and malrandlebag. Uh, wait, what do I make it in? In the <laughs> machine, okay. Ethanol. I don't trust this. This is really fucking freaky. Oh, God. Such a simple premise. Create an incision in the carotid carotid, Car carotid artery, carotid artery and, and jugular vein. And the jugular vein. I just realized that until now, I had never seen the word carotid actually spelled. Okay. I think I just do it. Okay. I'm about to lay hands upon your person. Do I have permission to do so? Is this going to get freaky? 
Oh. The ice sea was in it, and we shall not be able to break. The broken will become my vessel. I am here. Those who do not know me No. no. I know you. Fuck. <laughs> Do you? Do you really? Oh god. Oh god. Oh great. Holy shit. This is so cool. Okay, there's a there's a knock knock knocking at my door. Go to scalp. Should I do? Throw sponges at them. Turn off the lights. Oh, turn off the lights. <gasps> oh. God. Granny, why? Granny, go back to bed. Oh, Ugh. no. Comfortable. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, <gasps> good Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh. Son of a bitch! That was oh God, really I good, I dude. I something I just put up the board in front of me. It didn't protect me at all. Thank you for playing the prototype for the mortuary assistant. If you enjoy the concept, please stop by the Patreon and leave a comment saying so. Your feedback and support are what helped me continue making games. If you didn't get through my pa or get this through my Patreon and you enjoyed yourself, please consider stopping by and supporting my work or possibly sharing my work with others. Hell yeah! That was amazing! Yeah, that was really good. For as small as that was, that was only like, what, five minutes, whatever. Um, that was a teeny tiny little snippet of what an experience could be, but that was awesome! Yeah. The, the potential for different things in that, it's a very... I, well, I, I hate to use, like, PT as, like, a standard for these types of things, because everybody ends up doing it, and PT is just a... PT is not a game. PT is, like, demo. an experience on how many different ways you can do scares. And I think that this game has a lot of potential for that as well. Having just that one room, your list of tasks, your different things that you can do to the body as you're going through it. Um, and again, like... Is this inspired by the autopsy of Jane Doe? Because it, it feels a lot like that, where it's just, that whole movie takes place in that one autopsy room and a hallway. And you don't see anything else outside of that. There's two characters plus the autopsy person. And that's it. And it's so damn good. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed this as well. Like that one room, there's so many opportunities for so many different types of scares. I'm playing with expectations, I'm playing with games. Uh, or playing with like gaming tropes and gaming yeah the so, cliches uh, I would love to see a more fully fleshed out version of this so yeah go support Darkstone Digital and yeah, that was can. good I look forward to seeing what else I can also do. Scarecrow Ooh. Corpse buy that from it too that gave me and I already had the GBs, so now I got a full set but don't go anywhere yet dear viewer there is one game left on the chopping block one more experience for us to enjoy together have you been scared yet I hope not because you made a pact and a promise at the start of this video, and if you broke that, then your word means nothing to me. Welcome to Sentient. Sentient. I'd actually seen this before, and I meant to play it in a previous video, but I never did for some reason. But it looks kind of cool. I think I'm just in, like, a cell. All on my own. Ooh. Slow. Steady. That is what's going to win the race. <laughs> and in horror, it's all about... Suspense. Ooh, I like these sounds already. It's good shit. <laughs> good shit indeed. Good. That's some good shit. Let's hope you stick the landing. What are we looking at? All I can see is the reflection of my own face in my monitor. Hello. <laughs> okay. This is 
got to be one of the slowest build ups, build -ups <laughs> to the start of the game. Four three ratio. Damn, this looks great. I mean, it's a simple little room, but the lighting just there is actually really, really nice. Well, it is Unreal Engine, and that's always amazing. Oh. And nice physics. Yeah, See, that was cool. That's cool physics. Light. Sounds like okay, more like a handball than a tennis ball. And I must throw. Throw it in the hole. Okay, I missed. I saw. Um, what? What language? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my god, it's the Japanese Google Translate. <laughs> or Chinese. <laughs> Stand in the center. Let's begin. What am I getting myself in for? Okay, it's a little quiet, so I'm going to throw it. Grab the ball and throw it. Okay. Put the ball in your sleeping block and return to the center. Alright. Am I just some weird experiment? Well done! Yeah. Oh, I get a cookie? Can I eat the cookie? Nice. Ooh, this is freaky already. I really like this. Class number 4006. Use your new toy to answer the questions. Put the ball to the left to say yes and right to say no. Okay. Do I like the cookie? Uh, yes. Okay, it bounced both ways. Do you feel your body? No, actually. You no longer own your body. Do you feel contained? Yes. Are you aware of yourself? Oh god, am I a robot? Uh, yes. I'm sentient? I'm the robot? Do you fear without a body? Okay, who am I answering as? As the character or myself? Because I would fear without a body. I don't like the feeling of not being in control of things. Okay, that didn't register. Do you exist without a body? That is the question, isn't it? Do we exist after we die? Do, does our consciousness go on? Because technically, we're a consciousness controlling a body. We are not the actual body. We are, are we actually physical at all? Or is it just our interpretation of our physical movements that make us think that way? There's a whole topic to talk about in that regard. Hmm. You are this room. Okay. Okay. Is, is your reality, reality a simulation? I don't know. Do I actually feel anything? It's like that or one game you played not too long, a couple months ago. I'll say no. We see what you wrote in your sleeping block. We are not satisfied. Your life isn't real. Reality is simulated. You're worthless. You're worth less than a tasty cookie. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> What's in here? Time to relax. You can entertain yourself with your toy. Okay. Cheers, cheers. Thank you. Oh. Huh. There's a fence. 
that's in there. Whoa. I don't like yeah, this at all. Can I go through? This is really weird. Yeah. Jesus. Whoa! That's how I throw. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah, that's fun. <laughs> I love the physics of that tennis ball. Entertainment time is over. Do not touch the ball. Did I trigger that or did that just happen by random chance? Maybe by random chance. Task 4007. Place your back on the wall on the left, facing the wall on the right. Okay. I, I did it. Close your eyes. I don't trust this. I don't like this at all. Am I a robot? Am I a human? Am I just a consciousness? Did they run an experiment to see if they could actually create a consciousness that thinks for itself? Open your eyes. Meet your neighbor, it's always hungry. It's a monkey. Is the monkey what I saw? Yeah, because that did not look like a monkey. Well, you guys might be able to see it a bit better because we'll brighten it uh, in post. Ooh, tasty cookie. Thank you, master. More cookie, give! Me being good! Task 4008. Walk in circles around the room three times towards your left. Okay. What would happen if I didn't do any of these? I wonder if there's a different outcome. There's one. There's two. My life is bustling with activity. And there's three. Does that count? Oh wait, yeah, I can sprint. I'll walk around the entire room. You like that? This is the good shit? Oh, that only counted as one. Okay. So I do actually have to run around the entire room. Okay, that's two. I don't like how quiet it is. Yay! Cookie! Am I being Pavloved? Pavlov is the person that did like the dog training where like you blow a whistle and the dogs know it's time to eat kind of thing. It's like conditioned training. But then the joke is, oh, share your toy with your neighbor. Okay. But then the joke is that Every time Pavlov blew his whistle, did he think about feeding his dogs? So he Pavloved himself. Did that work? Task 4010. Stand in the center of the room. Already doing so. Rotate in place to the left 20 times. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy! 
This is so weird. That's only six. My character gonna pass out. Oh yeah, I'm getting wobbly. Oh weird. Oh god, I actually am getting wobbly in real life as well. I think if I go too fast, it doesn't register it. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Cookie. 20. Cookie! Yay! Oh god. I really do feel dizzy. <laughs> this game's gonna give me motion sickness. I did what you asked! Okay, I'm stable again. Task 4011. How long does this go? Play ball with your neighbor. Okay. Did everybody ready to do this? Huh? Okay. They took my ball. Uh, hello? They took my ball! I hear you! Playing with my ball on the other side of your hole. They're getting tasks as well. Weird. Oh, we monkeys. Am that I just it. a monkey? That's what I was saying. Being experimented on? Now come back, Boomerang. You're my only friend. You're the only love I've ever known. I'm bouncing the ball to you. You're just rolling it back to me. Walk from left wall to right wall, back and forward. Okay. Do I not get my ball back? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Where are you going to come straight back to you, actually? Yeah, look at it go. <laughs> oh, wait, they just open up the gate to let me throw it through sometimes. Interesting. How many times do you want me to do this? Task 4013. Eat the cookie. I like the sound of the cookie coming down. The sounds are really realistic. Does the cookie make you happy? Oh my god, I am just being conditioned. Yes! Very happy. Me happy with cookie. Oh, my ball. Oh. Do you like making others happy? Yes. Would you like to become a tasty cookie? No. I don't want to be a cookie. You will become a cookie. Time to relax. You can entertain yourself with your toy. This game is so weird. Oh. We're every 2014 YouTube vlog right now. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, every... Foot! Hey, Mr. Monkey Man! You wanna play? Have a ball. Are you in there? Okay. Good talk with you. time. Even though I might be a monkey or a robot or just a flowing consciousness, who knows? All I know is that I have my ball. They're right in the corner. Oh. Oh, so close. It's like the DVD logo thing. Come here, ball. Let me get it. I get it! What? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, jeez, 
no. Sid neighbor wants to meet you. Task 4014. Sleep. I like my sleeping block. What is going on? What does it say? Looks like it says God in the middle. Protect. I can't really read it. Please, God, protect me? I don't know what it says. Damn it. You better not just end. I want more. Ah, oh, come on! That was weird. Ah, oh, that was getting really good. Yeah, it was good and strange. Oh, it's a playable teaser. It is PT. <laughs> PT. <laughs> Damn, that was fucking awesome. They, I'm, I'm partial to this type of stuff. Belongs to Bigger World, currently under development by Forma. Please! More! Cookie! <laughs> this game, Cookie! Give! Oh my god, that was amazing! So simple, so straightforward, but like I said, I'm partial to this sort of like environmental storytelling or the really minimalistic style of storytelling where I'm. My imagination is going wild this entire time, being like, am I a monkey? Am I a consciousness? Am I, a, yeah. am I the same as the guy next door? Am I something different? Am I even real? So it's just all these different things happening and the game doesn't even need to explain it really because my brain has already made up a cool enough narrative for what fits my own tastes. And then that scene where everything goes red and he's like right there in the hole coming in towards you. It's fucking freaky, man. That was yeah. awesome. Oh, I want more of that. Now, please. I love that kind of shit. Well, dear viewer, we have come to the end of our video. Did you get scared? Did you keep it together? Did you keep no, your pack I didn't your get scared. at the start of the video? I hope so. Because if you didn't, then I will never be able to trust you again. And going forward, things are going to get rough. But as you leave Ooh. this video today, let me ask you something. Was any of this even real? Did you even experience any of it? Or is it just a figment of your, your imagination, imagination? And the simulation that is currently running? We may never know, but until next time, dear viewer, so long. Okay, I kind of got a little of a, of a quick the game to win vibe at the end when the way he was talking, saying that stuff. Did you get scared? And the way he kind of like did that little smirk at the end, like "see you next time." <laughs> My God, that was a lot to digest there. That was a lot of stuff to digest. So let's talk about those games. Um, the first one, I think, was... What was it? Yeah, Don't Trust the Game, where you're, like, supposed to not do certain tasks. Then the second game was a autotopsy, autotopsy thing, and... Dude, there were points, yeah, I swear to God that that body was smiling when he was on the one side of it. Like, it was smirking. Based, I guess, on the angle and perspective that the per that he was looking at her. Ooh, was that fucking bad. But, um... Ooh, man, that was a creepy one. Especially when the moment before you were going to cut the carotid artery and jugular vein, when she opened her eyes. Oh, God, that was bad. That was scary. 
But then the third game, the simulation game where we were, I think, a monkey or something. We had to, to do certain tasks, like throw the ball at our neighbor or walk around the room three times, rotate, spin 20 times, etc., etc. That was the probably the weirdest thing I've seen. That was a strange one. It kind of reminded me of that one other game with the questions, like where you're a a answering questions in front of a computer and then it turns out to be a simulation. That's kind of what it gets me vibes of, but um, honestly, that was interesting though. That was really, really interesting. But anyways, I think overall that's officially it on today's reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of Notification Squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jack Set the Guy, even myself. I also read actors and cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDLNA6 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!